in this video, you will get a breakdown by the numbers for the top 3 WordPress hosting providers. We measure the most important factors of a web host and will walk you through different aspects of their performance. Finding the best WordPress hosting and shared WordPress hosting usually has traditionally been the first part of a call for those new to self-hosted WordPress. The combination of server administration, low monthly fees and tempting add-ons such as free domains make it an attractive option for new webmasters. In this video, I'll break down the offerings of three of the most prominent WordPress hosting providers and put real numbers next to different aspects of their performance to help you choose the best hosting this year. The monthly figures offered are extremely affordable. We decided to go for a striped down WordPress install to make comparisons as fair as possible. Each install uses WordPress with the standard 2015 theme and all plugins and cachings disabled. In terms of performance, each WordPress install was tested in the following two ways. 1. Page load tests with Pingdom. The homepage is loaded from three separate locations and the results tabulated. And number 2. Basic load testing with Load Impact. We used Load Impact to simulate up to 40 concurrent users hitting the homepage over a 5 minute period. The figures you see here are based on test runs with servers geographically close to the WordPress installations themselves. We also sense checked the results with limited tests on more geographically dispersed. Due to the nature of WordPress hosting, there is no magic single definitive test that will hold true under all circumstances. What we are looking for here were illustrative page load times and reasonable overall performance indicators at low usage levels. Remember that your mileage may and probably will vary. Let's move on to our candidates, the allegedly best WordPress hosting providers. At SiteGround we went for the startup package. Although for a generally more WordPress optimized package, we'd recommend the Grow Big plan. It's a tad more expensive, but it comes with additional features, free SSL and priority support. Initial sign up with this shared WordPress hosting plan was simple and to the point. The backend impressed as well with its presentation of a carefully considered initial set of options. Not surprisingly, the only install on the list hosted on a European server performed particularly well from Amsterdam. Melbourne, on the other hand, was underwhelming. On load impact, the minimum and the maximum response time was both under a second. There were superb times on a geographically closed test server, but we experienced more variance with different localies. SiteGround has an online reputation rated 4.6 by users. InMotion offers a lot of hosting options, but we wanted to look into the ones that are optimized for WordPress specifically. So, we went into the WordPress hosting section and selected the plan called Lunch. This one is the most affordable. The great thing about it is that you get SSD disk space without any additional fees. Also, you can have two websites on this plan. InMotion shows good performance near the server location and also reasonably good results for Europe and Australia. This isn't the fastest host on this list, but surely nothing with called uncomfortable. The performance results on load impact are good up until the 10 concurrent users mark, at which point it takes a slight dip, but then restores around 20 concurrent users and stays somewhat level up until even 50 users. Overall, more than enough for normal usage and server load. The plan we've tested with WP Engine is called Personal and it's the entry-level plan. As part of it, you are allowed to have one WordPress install and it can handle up to 25,000 visits a month, so probably more than enough for most new websites. The server location for Pingdom Test was California. 
WP Engine shows great performance when accessing the site from a New York server, even though New York and California are properly away. European connections are also really good. Lastly, Melbourne connections get a bit lower performance. On load impact, we got really good performance across the whole spectrum. The number of concurrent user connections had little impact on the results. In Olympic style, to highlight that all services are surprisingly good, we'll hand out medals accordingly. We'd like to stress that none of the shared WordPress hosting providers here failed any test. The overall standard was refreshingly high. Furthermore, all providers also offer a full range of more advanced hosting options if you start to outgrow the entry level packages. Thanks for watching. Feel free to post a comment, give us a like and subscribe.